Good day, Grade Sixes. Welcome to the NSD class of Katu Primary School. So we're going to start with Term One's work, um, Week One and Two. So follow me as I'm going through. Firstly, we're going to start um, by talking about life cycles. The, we're going to start by talking uh, the life cycle about the life cycle of the plant. Okay, so all of us know when we plant a seed, it becomes a big plant. Okay, so what's happening inside of the soil is that this seed germinates and it actually grows um, inside of the soil. It has um, what we call a small root that grows deep into the soil and, um, and then we can um, after a while see the stem of the plant arising at the top of uh, the soil. Okay, so this cycle is called uh, what we call germination. Okay, so we know that this plant that uh, that you see in this picture here is coming from a seed. That seed germinated and it started growing and become a small uh, plant that, uh, where, that we can see clearly. Um, also on the outside and there's a lot of examples also uh, in the world. Okay, so what's happening in the life cycle of the plant? We know that when we plant a, a, a seed, it starts growing as a, a plant and it develops into a seedling. Okay, now seedling um, starts growing further and it matures into a young adult plant um, as it grows bigger and it continues to grow until we can see some flowers. Okay, so when we see that a, a plant produces flowers, that plant has reached maturity. So a mature plant's got flowers, um, and that flower's purpose is that that seed will reap, that plant will reproduce after its own kind. So what's happening inside of the, uh, the flower is pollination. Now pollination is when the pollen of the male part of the plant um, actually lands on the stem of the female plant, uh, part of the plant, then pollination has taken place. Then it, the, plant, the seed actually grows down into um, the stem. Uh, it goes down into uh, the, the stem and, and actually it becomes a fruit. And uh, when the, the fruit is there, we talk about fertilization and it starts becoming a fruit. It grows into a fruit. So, um, so out of this, we can clearly see here what's happening inside of the life cycle of a plant. Now, um, animals are called pollinators and they help plants to spread their pollen throughout, um, throughout life or nature. Okay, and these pollinators are mainly insects. Insects carry this pollen from one flower to another flower, and after pollination has taken place, we know that fertilization is taking place. So after a while, a plant will produce a seed, and then animals, once again, are responsible for the spreading of seeds. Okay, so we can see clearly in this, um, in this picture that the bird here is eating some uh, some of this, um, the fruits of this plant, and this uh, uh, bird will spread the seed um, wherever it uh, have droppings. Also, this uh, dog here, some of the seeds are stick to its hair, and it will eventually drop down the um, the seed wherever it scratches that seed off. Okay, so that's a way animals and plants help each other actually also in the process of life. But this is called the process or the life cycle of the plant. Okay, pollination takes place, fertilization, um, and then over um, the time we go back to where uh, seed grows into the ground and in this germination that takes place. So let us just have a look here. 
Okay, so this is a very good example of the, uh, the tomato plant. The po tomato plant grows inside of the soil. Okay, we know that inside of the fruit is the seed. We take that seed, we plant it into the soil, it becomes a young plant. So germination takes place, it becomes a young plant. Eventually, it becomes a mature plant. That mature plant's got flowers. Inside of the flowers, pollination takes place and then fertilization also takes place and uh, the moment that process has taken place that flower actually dies and becomes a fruit so you can actually say that each flower on a plant that have uh, the, the process of pollination and fertilization have taken place in that flower it will become a fruit inside of the fruit is the seed and the whole cycle starts again. And that's why we call this the life cycle of the plant. Okay, because it's actually a rotating cycle. Let's have a look at the life cycle of animals. Okay, life cycles of an animal. Phases of an animal life cycle. Okay, so firstly, fertilization takes place inside of animals, okay? So it can either take internal or external fertilization can take place. So fertilization takes place uh, internally in humans and dogs and etc. like uh, elephants as well. Okay, mainly mammals. Okay, so uh, what's happening? The seed from the male dog, okay, that is called the sperm, fertilize the egg of the female dog in, on the inside. Okay, so that the moment it takes place, that fertilization takes place, that baby puppy is growing inside of the female's stomach, actually, um, and then um, it grows into a dog uh, uh, until the time is right for that dog to actually birth that baby dog. Okay, when? When fertilization is taking place on the outside or external, like in the frog and in the fish, the sperm of the male will actually fertilize the egg on the outside. So it takes place uh, with uh, the frogs and uh, fish. Now we know that fertilization is external. Okay, now pregnancy and growth. So we know that uh, fertilization has taken place inside of this animal so what's happening is the baby is growing inside of uh, the mother the, there the baby is safe and protected um, it feels the warmth and is getting fed inside and it actually um, is growing up there until it is ready to come on the outside for life okay so here we have the bird uh, we know that birds actually lay some eggs, so the baby actually hatch inside of the egg. Inside of that egg, uh, the, 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 fem the female or the male keeps the egg warm, okay, and the baby grows inside of the egg. And eventually um, that uh, little chick will hatch out of the egg. Okay, so that is pregnancy and growth that takes place in animals. Okay, after that, um, that animals uh, gave, uh, that uh, the female animal gave birth, um, they care for their young. Okay, so um, this tiger will care for uh, her young until they are old enough to care for themselves. The same with this elephant here and the same with this, um, this goose um, or um, keys on, on, on the, the big picture that we see here. Okay, so they train them how to hunt, they train them how to do things in different ways as well. Okay, so this is the life cycle of animals. Caring, so we started with fertilization, pregnancy and growth, and then caring for the young. Okay, now we go to grade six work. This is the most important process on earth. What process is that? That is the process of photosynthesis. In the process of photosynthesis, we know that the plant takes sunlight energy, carbon dioxide and water out of the soil and that water actually goes in, into the roots, um, it goes into the leaves 
um, of this plant, okay, into the leaves. And inside of the leaves, we find chlorophyll, that is the green substance that makes plants green. And in the leaves, uh, mainly in the leaves, uh, produce oxygen that we see here. Oxygen is coming out of the process of photosynthesis and also a very important thing for us and that is food. So if I can just spell some food for you here. Um, it's like that. Okay, so food is uh, coming out of the process of photosynthesis. That is why we call plants producers. Plants are producers. Okay, so let us have a look further. Okay, in the next, uh, these five things are very important for the process of photosynthesis. Chlorophyll, that is the green substance that we find in plants. Okay, so you know when a plant is green, it consists, it got some chlorophyll inside. The second thing is very important, that is sunlight energy. Okay, water that comes out of the soil and it is um, absorbed by the roots, the roots of the plant and then carbon dioxide and then lastly soil. Remember plants grow in soil and out of the soil they also find minerals um, um, minerals um, out of the vitamins and minerals out of the soil. Okay, so these five things are needed for the process of photosynthesis to take place. This is very important things. Out of the process of photosynthesis we find food and oxygen food and oxygen okay so let us just go to the last slide here if we look at the picture here we have energy that comes from the sun sunlight energy carbon dioxide of the air water and minerals out of the soil okay then inside of the plant the process of photosynthesis take place inside of the leaves and out of the process come oxygen and food. So this is the process of photosynthesis. And that's why we call it the most important process on earth. Because living uh, creatures like me and you needs the food and needs the oxygen that comes from plants. I hope you have learned many things today um, in this natural science and technology lesson.